Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting whole numbers and decimals. This is standard 4.4a in the great state of Texas. and We are using item 1 of the Redesign Practice Online Start Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have an artist pouring 6.09 or 6 and 9 tenths, or 9 hundredths, excuse me, kilograms of orange sand and 14.26 or 14 and 26 hundredths kilograms of blue sand into a mixing container, total amount of sand. All right, so we've got some decimals. We need to do something with them. Let's use this graph draw feature. So I'm going to use that button right there. I'm going to extend it out to where it basically takes up the whole page using the diagonal arrows. I'm going to increase my transparency so I can see a little bit more behind it. And I can use this draw feature. So this is as close as we get in an online test to being able to draw on the actual test itself. So these are my two numbers, 6.09 or 6 and 9 hundredths kilograms of worn sand, 14 and 26 hundreds of blue sand total amount okay so if we're going to draw a strip diagram that lets us know what's missing so our total is missing so what do we have well we've got two different pieces here and they're not really proportional so I'll try to draw them uh, disproportional right so we've got the six nine hundredths and then we've got the 14, 26 hundredths. So what is that going to be? Well, looks that like that's going to be a basic addition problem, right? We've got a part, part, whole with this strip diagram. We need to put these two parts together. All right, so here's the thing with, you know, adding decimals. We need to make sure the most important thing is to line up the decimals. And if you don't line up the decimals, then everything is going to be all, all wonky. So we're going to start right here. I'm going to use the actual grid squares that are available to me here. If I wanted, I can increase or I can decrease the grid squares. Uh, but what I find is that the medium, medium is the is the best and so you see as I was using that right it there's no undo button and it kind of uh, erases what we're doing here there's no undo button there's no eraser but if you change the grid size or if you hit that reset button in the top left it erases everything so we'll put this back together real quick and 6.09 so I'm gonna line them up but here's the nice thing both of these numbers go to the same decimal place so let's use this all right, so I've got 6.09. So my decimal here, since we do have decimals, normally would be the ones place, but my decimal is going to be my anchor. So everything kind of revolves around that. So I'm putting that down first. So 14 and 26 hundredths. And sometimes this draw feature is a little bit finicky. It doesn't work as well as a real pencil on paper. All right, so we're going to bring our decimal down, right, in our place value. This is our tenths. This is the ths, THS, because it's in the decimal. This is the hundredths, THS. It's in the decimal. You know, that's pretty easy. That's your ones. And then over here are your tens. So after that, we just add it like normal, right? Nine and six, starting at the very far right. In the hundredth place, 9 and 6 is 15. We're going to put that 5 right there. We're going to carry this 1 right there because we can't put two digits right there in one spot. 1 and 0 is 1. 1 and 2 is 3. 6 and 4 is 10. So look at that. 20 and 35 hundredths. If you're not sure, right, you could take your 20 and 35 hundredths, subtract one of those two, and see if you get the other one. That would work as well. Let's turn this off. Our answer here is D.